Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 4, lesson 4, adjust quotients, page number is 271. Okay. Uh, adjusting quotient is, it's just like last lesson, but we'll keep trying the numbers. Let's say this division here. 16 divide 144 now the first two digits they are less than the divisor they are 14 and this is 16 less than the divisor so in that case what we do we take three digits together and when we divide let's say we try 7 first we get 112 and the remainder is 32 if the remainder is bigger than the divisor it means you solved it wrong so you have to try another number it means this is wrong then we try 8 why we tried 7 guys first because of the estimate okay 16 times 8 128 still 16 if the remainder is equal to the divisor still it means you solved it wrong if the remainder is more than the divisor or equal to the divisor, it means you solved it wrong. If the remainder is less than the divisor, then it means it is correct. Got it, guys? So 16 times 9, 144 and no remainder. Of course, 0 is less than the divisor. Next page, again, they are trying the numbers one by one because the first two digits are less than the divisor so you take three digits together so you have to find out uh, 132 times what will give you 125 or less than that 32 times 4 is 128 more than 125 we can't take that so we take try one number less 32 times 3 is 96 when you minus 29 bring the 2 down now you'll think 32 times what is equal to 292 so boys you can try a number like any number multiply by 10 is equal to you add one zero at the end 320 so 32 times 10 320 which is close to your number but bigger so try one less which is 9 32 times 9 is 288 and when you minus 4 so the remainder is 4 okay here Sarah divided 306 by 34 and got a quotient of 8 remainder 34 you see the divisor is 34 and the remainder is 34 they are equal it means she solved it wrong she can multiply by 9 instead of this. Here we did it. Okay, the next page is the independent practice. Guys, you have to solve all these questions by yourself and then you can match your answers from this video. You have to solve all the questions like this complete. Okay, the above 6 also. Okay, next page now. Shella arranged a total of 680 chairs for a school assembly. If she placed an equal amount of chair in 20 rows, so 680 divided by 20, 34. Here we divided 34 chairs. Given the area of a rectangle is 208 square inches and the length is 26 inches, area is 208 length is 26 we have to find the width you know the the formula for area area is equal to length times width so they give us the area and they give us the length we have to find the width so 208 divided by 26 here we divide it equals 8 so the width is 8 inches a crew went net fishing to catch shrimp 
they caught 486 shrimp in 54 minutes. So when you divide 54 with 486, it's 9. So 9 shrimps per minute. Okay, there is a mistake in this. Why? Because when you minus, you get 50, more than 42. So you can try one number bigger. Here we divide it in real. And the explanation is here. How can I adjust a quotient to solve a division problem? Give an example. Estimate a quotient by rounding. Try the quotient and if it is too high or low, try another number. Keep trying until you get the perfect choice. Like this one. Here, 4. It is too less than 218. But when you multiply it by 5, you get 210, which is close to 218. I hope you understand the lesson guys. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel Learn Math with Mr. Sai. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.